this is my second video on java awt here i am going to show you how to develop a, a java application by using awt package so this is the application that i am going to develop a frame based application which is containing labels two labels and two text fields and button when this button is clicked the text from these two boxes will swap or interchange how to handle this event how to interchange them that i will show in next video in this video i am going to show how to develop this application's gui that is interface here i have defined a class that is swap and it is having a main method like every java program will have and for using awt components i have to import a package that is java.awt star means all the classes that are available in the awt package will be available in my program first thing that i have to create is a frame this frame so where i can place all these components so frame is a class available in awt package it is having two constructors one will take no parameter second one will take title that you want to show on the frame so here i am creating a frame f and when creating an object i am giving the title as my frame so a frame is created now next i want two labels that is first and second these two labels label is a awt class and it is having three constructors a label without any parameters one label where you can mention the string whether you want first or second what you want to display you can take that as text third one you can also mention the alignment of that text in the label like you want it to be center align or left align or right align so you can use the constants defined here like you can say label dot left or label dot center or label dot right you can mention these any of these values here as alignment so here i have taken two labels label l1 label l2 one when it is created i am making the label as first and next is second so now i have three things frame and two labels next i want these two text fields so where i can type the text so for that text field is a awt class and it is having these four constructors one with empty no parameter second one is columns is nothing but size what should be the length of a text field you can mention the length or size the next is you can mention a default text like nothing is here empty it is so if you want some text to appear here by default you can mention the text and next one more pa constructor is there which is taking two parameters that is text and the size so here i have created two text fields t versus t2 and two text fields are created where their sizes i have taken as 10 next i want a button for that a class is available in awt package that is button class and it is having constructors one constructor without any parameter non parameterized constructor and second constructor which takes the string that is the label that you want on the button so here i have created a button button b assign new button and that is okay I have given the button label as okay now i have frame two labels two text fields and a button so all these things all these things i should add them on the frame otherwise there is no relation with these things with the frame so these things must be added that is they must be kept on the frame so i have to say add so frame is having add function so f dot add and f dot add so i am using it for all adding all the components so i am using it for adding all the components so first i am adding l1 that is label one then text field then second label then second text field and then a button okay button now my application is ready till here my application is ready now only thing that i have to do is i have to make it visible on the screen so you can see that in the hierarchy frame is a class which is inheriting from window and that window is inheriting from container 
container is inheriting from component so frame is having its own methods and also the methods that are being inherited from window and container and then component so this add function is actually a part of container containers can contain other components so they will have add method and every component can be set visible or invisible so this set visible and the size these two methods are actually present in component which are borrowed via all these classes and they are being inherited in frame class so frame class is containing these two methods so to make the frame visible on the screen i should set the size and also set it visible so f dot set visible true and that's how this application that is GUI interface will appear on the screen here I will develop the same application so let us start a new project I'll give the name as swap yeah, here everything is ready for me so I'll just uh, import java.awt dot asterisk now here I have to write down everything in main function frame as a f assign new frame i need labels this is the first label second label first text field second text field button I have to simply add all of them to frame label one text field one label two text field two button that's all everything is added and one important thing is for the frame i have to set the layout as flow layout what is this layout why i have to set it these things will come across later in other videos i'll prepare separate videos upon layouts now as i said i have to set the size so i'll take some size 300 comma 300 then also I have to set it visible that's it everything is ready yeah. my program is ready it is inside a swap class and inside the main method I have written all these lines now I have to run the program yeah here it is my application is ready if I write something here and click on this button nothing happens because I have not written any functionality so in next video I'll, I'm going to show you how to swap the contents of these two text fields so that's what I, I will discuss event handling in the next video so I will discuss event handling in next video thanks for watching please leave your feedback